Hello, YouTubers. It's Champion DJK coming at you again with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And today we've got some Camaros to look at. So, 10 Camaros. We're going to go ahead and take a quick look. Some kind of some weird ones in here. This is the 80s Camaro Z28, which was also known as the Blown Camaro at one time. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up this one. This one's from 1996. Let's this real quick. Take a look at it. Um, this casting's been used a ton of times, an absolute ton. Um, <clears throat> so, the blown version debuted in 1984, was in various releases up until 1992. Uh, the blown Camaro version actually had a blown engine and a sunroof. Um, in 92, a new tool without the blown motor uh, came out basically and there's been t just a ton of different variations of this car um, a lot of them including like a plastic base there is a uh, and a base or sorry plastic body and there is a base variation of it so this is the I think this is the original base from still the blown version I don't know a whole ton about the history of this casting well we're gonna look at four of them I mean, it's a nice older Hot Wheels tooling for sure. Um, here's here's this crazy looking one from Street Beast series. It was titled Blown Camaro on this one, and this is from 1997. Go ahead and pop that one open. It's got those wild wheels. Oh, it's got a base issue. The base isn't on all the way, and I can't even get it back into place. So I guess that's an error of sorts. Um, pretty wacky looking. <clears throat> I don't know if that's Godzilla or what that is up there in the front. Street Beasts. It's got something weird going on with that base, though. Uh, so these two have the same base, I believe. Let's see what the copyright date is on this one. Copyright date is 1983. This is what's stamped into there. So here is these two. And then, so that's number one and number two. And then this one is the holiday release. Uh, this, is, I believe, is from 2006. Camaro Z28. Um, so this essentially is the same tooling, I believe. But, well, it can't be because there's, there's, there's a base difference here, definitely. And there's the base of this one. And copyright date is still 1983. So someone that really knows their Hot Wheels, comment to me why these both have a copyright date in 1983. They have different bases. Maybe the original Blown Camaro actually came out with two different base uh, variations depending on the wheels that they were using. But as you can see, these bases are clearly different. This one's got more of a raised uh, rear end. Uh, this one is also plastic. Um, I think I just scratched it with my fingernail, but this one is also plastic right here. And then I do have one with a metal body, so this one's all metal. I believe it is anyway. Go ahead and open that one up. That one's metal. Or is it plastic? I think it is plastic, actually. This whole time I thought this was metal. It is plastic. That's kind of one of the best looking plastic bodies that I've ever seen. I've also noticed that the uh, windshield is very dark on this, which makes me think, okay, they have a metal base and then they tooled it without an interior. That is my guess. This has no interior. I'm gonna try to look it up in a light here real close. And you really can't see through that. My guess is that there is no interior in this in this version of the car. So you've got all metal with an interior here. There also is a blown version with a sunroof. And of course, that's all metal in an interior. And then you have these versions, which are plastic body. See the sound difference there? Uh, and metal base. Interesting. I did not know that. So this plastic body version is still in production. It was last seen in the 2016 mainline. Looking a lot more plasticky. It would be it's really hard to tell that this was plastic. The way that they did the the paint job on it. 
So interesting for sure. All right, so there is your number one, two, three, and four car for this Tank Car Tuesday. The next one we're gonna look at is another interesting tooling. This is the Camaro uh, Z28. This particular one you're looking at is from 1996. Uh, this is a Larry Wood design casting. So is this other, that other Camaro that we just looked at. Um, so this is based on this 1979 Camaro. It's been released loads of times. Okay. This casting does not have an interior either. So no interior in this casting. You can see the little post right there in there. Uh, this one also has a plastic body version, which I don't think I have a plastic body version to show you. Um, just, the, just two of them to show you today. So this one's from 96. Uh, this casting is also still used. It was last seen in 2017 as a Tempac exclusive. Uh, but here's this very basic one in all white, pretty much pearl white with the Hot Wheels logo on the uh, rear quarter on the one side. Um, all right looking car, I guess. Not the best, but uh, somewhat cool. And then this is the 2007 Camaro Z28. Uh, this one also, of course, doesn't have an interior. This one is all metal. Nope, plastic base, metal body. So there is a, there is a plastic body metal base version as well of this tooling. Kind of lame that they didn't put an interior in this one. This is, that's definitely an interesting thing. So it debuted in the 1982 mainline. It's never had an interior. Kind of weird that even the car that was put out that long ago did not have an interior, and it's a Camaro, so they probably would have thought it would have been popular. But they're like, you know what, forget it, we're not putting an interior in it. So anyway, there is the Camaro Z28, one from 1996, one from 2007. And there is those two. Uh, next is a, <clears throat> the 1981 Camaro. So this is more of a recent tooling uh, the one you're looking at right here is 2014 Road Trippin' Series. Uh, this tooling of the Camaro was from uh, Brendan Viteski and is pretty cool. This one actually has an interior. It has a roll cage in it even. Extraterrestrial Highway. Uh, so this one <clears throat> debuted in 2012 Mainline, had two variations there. You had this 2014 road tripping version. Um, another difference is like the hood scoop thing on there. That's different. Um, really cool. And then, uh, so this one, 2014 road trip, road tripping, 2014 Fourth of July, 2017 it was in the main line. Two different variations. Also in the 50th Anniversary Camaro Series, and then the 2018 50th, Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Camaro set. So it's still in use today, of course. Well, it's not that old of a casting, 2012. And uh, pretty cool. So I'm, it's kind of nice that they did do another version of this Camaro, since this tooling is kind of lacking, considering the fact that it doesn't have an interior and all that other good stuff. Um, this one looks a little bit better. Um, and is a modern Hot Wheels casting and looks pretty cool. So there, there you go. So there is number seven of our 10 car Tuesday. And then this one here is one I definitely dig. This is another Brendan Vituski casting. This is the 85 Chevy Camaro IROC Z. This also debuted in 2012, right along with that other Camaro we just looked at. This is probably my favorite uh, Camaro casting is the IROC. Shout out to Johnny Irock. So this one debuted in 2012 mainline. There were three different variations of it. It was also in the 2012 RLC Real Rider series. Um, 2013, it got Retro Entertainment series. So there is premium version of this casting, metal body, metal base. This, of course, has a plastic base, metal body. Um, so it's been released actually quite a bit. Multi-pack exclusives, lots of multi-pack exclusives. Uh, the Target Retro Style series. It was in the 2016 one of those. It was in this year's Target Retro Style 
Um, and also has a multi-pack exclusive and uh, 2018 50th anniversary Camaro series. So it's been out quite a few times in the short period of time it's been around. Uh, definitely one of the ones to get would be the RLC version. It's been in the RLC once and it's a really cool looking uh, version of this car. Definitely one that I would want eventually. I don't have it. I should get it though because it is pretty cool. But here is the IROC, the IROC Z, looking pretty nice. Good detail on it too. You get taillights, uh, nothing on the headlights, but you get this nice uh, side tampo action. Um, of course, this hood part is also a part of the interior. So just all around a really good casting. I like this one a lot, so that's, I'm a fan of that. All right, we got the 1993 Camaro. This is the final run version of this casting. Uh, this debuted in 1993 as a McDonald's, I think a Happy Meal toy, and in the main line. It's been released a ton of times till it was final run in 1999. We're just going to take a look at this version. Um, this one has real rider tires, plastic base, metal body. It's got a roll cage in it. Final run on the wheels. Pretty cool real rider wheels. And a really ugly tampo scheme, but there it is. Interesting. Not a fan of this style Camaro. Just not a big fan of it. Um, so I don't really care that they finally run this casting. I had to have one example of it, though, and I guess this is a good example to have. And uh, there it is. Final run Camaro. All right. And then last up. Still shifting gears back to the newer Camaros here. This is the 2008 Camaro Convertible Concept. Uh, this is a Phil Reelman casting. Had a 2008 mainline debut. This is one of the, the, the car that debuted in 2008. This actually is a pretty nice casting. It looks pretty good. It is a convertible, obviously. Metal body, plastic base, white interior. Uh, 2008 mainline debut it was uh, released a bunch of times actually last seen this year 2018 in the 50th anniversary retro style series found at target uh two different variations of it in there uh one that you could find in the store and the other one in their like 10 pack but uh and there it is so that's your 10th car for 10 car tuesday so out of all these definitely the iraq is my favorite i would say in second place is the older school uh blown camaros especially the ones that actually had the blown engine are pretty cool and then um i don't know kind of disappointed actually that 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 is a plastic body and so is that i thought these were metal metal on metal and they're not so that's kind of a disappointment and uh yeah that's going to be it for this 10 Car Tuesday. Thank you guys very much for watching another one. Please check out the playlist. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a great day.